I need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pimmin, you bitch. I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck with my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, what it is, folks? We back again with another episode of The Realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Put it on some. As always, I got my brothers here with me. JoJo, what it is, boy? What's happening? That boy Tim G. Jacob is back. What's happening, man? man I'm back in the fold, man. What's yeah, good? they missed you last week. You had to get to that money, though. That's what we got to do around this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And you know I'm here with you for a little bit. But uh, as always, this is sponsored by Statement Tees. That Statement Tees, every T-shirt you wear, Makes a statement. Y'all see the statement being made right here. Yep. Branding. We build brands in this motherfucker. That's what the fuck we do. And it seemed like that boy, DeAndre Hopkins, is building his brand right now with his play. So we just need to be clear. I'm asking y'all, and we asking America, is he the best receiver in football? Uh, I think for years he's gone uh, – Kind of under the radar, especially when he had those trash quarterbacks in Houston. Uh, I think some people start paying more attention to him once he got uh, Deshaun in Houston. Uh, you know, because Deshaun coming out of Clemson with all the fanfare and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and also, though, because he ain't one of those to do all the dances in the end zone and all that kind of shit. But after that legendary catch on Sunday, that boy D hop viral like a motherfucker. <laughs> he, he he on there. What what did he say, T? He said it was it, it was three of them, but that was just a what? Me, but it was just a better play by I. <laughs> better by better play I. See, <laughs> that boy talking that shit. <laughs> that boy D I'm talking that shit, y'all. Hey, I'm seeing him on there. He retweeting whoever say something about it. He told him today, hey, whoever got the best meme for the shit. He gonna send him a signed T-shirt, and then like Tom Brady sent something about a goat signed jersey, right? Yeah, signed jersey. Excuse me, that's right, signed jersey. Like like Nuck really on his marketing shit right now. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can't come he not that. playing now. He had the Jordan gloves on, didn't he? Yep, jump, yep. Oh, Mike Jordan, Mike. What well, Mike placing that shit with the right boy? Nah, now, nah, nah, check it now. The defenders had Adidas and. Um, I think Nike. Oh, it's perfect, Mike. Oh shit, bro. Mike, he got to run with that. That got to be a commercial. <laughs> hey, Michael Jordan's son, what's it? Michael Jordan Jr. Or I don't know. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> it's Marcus. Marcus. Ain't it? Yeah, Marcus. Hey, man, you need to get on that, man. This is this is marketing gold right now. You Trying got to, tell to do you. That. got to do that. But man, uh, uh what y'all think? What y'all say, man? First, but now. Just to give y'all some numbers real quick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We're giving y'all the, the most entertaining. We ain't we the realest around this motherfucker. But we also getting more and more analytical on this bitch. We're trying to get y'all these numbers as well. That boy JoJo really told that shit up last week. Shout out to JoJo for that. I but, appreciate uh, it. Let, let, let's look at some numbers real quick. Like, All right. So looking at the numbers, DeAndre Hopkins is second currently in uh, total receiving yards with 861. Now, that's in nine games. Now, comparatively speaking to Stephon Diggs, who is number one, uh, he's played 10 games. Now, shout out to that boy Stephon Diggs. He up there in Buffalo getting it. And I appreciate that, too, because I got uh, Josh Allen as my fantasy uh, quarterback. That's neither here nor there, though. Uh, <laughs> in terms of touchdowns, uh, DeAndre Hopkins actually is outside of the top 10 in terms of touchdowns. Devontae Adams leads the league in uh, touchdowns. Followed by uh, Tyreek Hill, Adam Thielen, uh, DK Metcalf, and the list goes on. Uh, but then, in terms of yards per game, uh, D Hop is also number two at 95.7 per game. Uh, that boy, Devontae Adams, is getting 105.9 yards a game. My, <laughs> my boy balling now. My boy balling, he just stayed he dinged up. So, what y'all think? Gave you the numbers. Y'all seen the eye test. Y'all see what he been doing for years now. What y'all think? Is DeAndre Hopkins the best receiver in football? T, we'll start with you. I might have to say yeah. Talk to me, T, because you, wouldn't, like you wouldn't trade for him years ago. I was trying yeah, to give him to early. you. I no, I was trying to. Listen, when, you getting, when your quarterback name is Brandon Whedon, 
Brandon Whedon. Through is he still game. in the league? He no. might not be. He might be. T. He, he, might, he well, might. They might well let me be in the league. He might be that one of the COVID quarterbacks. Man. Uh, all right. No, you know they do have that though. Look, man. What? You know, like the QB, like they got like four QBs now. You got like four QBs where one is like an emergency QB. And, and Cal can't even cope. get a – he can't even get a cope in the, the door. Right? All right, yeah. what, what you got, T? Look, man, <laughs> this man in his time has has been thrown to by 10 different quarterbacks by the names of Ryan Mallett, Matt Schaub, Brian Hoyer, TJ Yates, Brock Osweiler, A.J. McCarron, Tom Savage. Damn. And this man still do numbers. And then – of course, like I said, they fired him a little too late. But Bill O'Brien shipping that man out of town. If Bill O'Brien gets another job in any facet, he can't even be the water boy in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> he should never get another job. Ever. <laughs> Ever. You've been snapping by him for a minute. So I, I got to let you go. You've been no, snapping by him for a minute. Yeah. He should never get another job. Ever in life. In the NFL, what did he say, man? What did D Hop oh, say to that man? He never said to make him. The, what the fuck he trained him for, money. man? Oh, he wanted. He, he, you know, he, they said something about Bill has said something about Nuck and his baby mamas and yeah, I that. thought they had words and or something. Some stuff about that. And then, then okay, the extension came along. You know, D Hop like, look, man, I'm out here doing what I do, and I can't get no extra money. And then Bill was like, okay, well, this be a fitting time for me to ship you out of town. But then you ship him to an up and coming team like Arizona, who they coming. All all respect, they coming. So you ship that guy to somewhere like that with that offense, that quarterback. What's going on there, man? It's, hey, Arizona lit, man. So Hop is the best <laughs> receiver in football because I just I just think, man, out of all them people he done got thrown to, that are through to him. He's he's still producing. Now you got Mike, Mike T. He got he got Drew, one of the most accurate quarterbacks ever. And I'm not knocking Mike Thomas. I think Mike Thomas is a talent. But we finna find out here in the next few weeks what this gonna look like in the future going forward with no Drew Brees, for real, for real. So you got the that streets guy. were calling Mike Thomas slant boy. Well, you know, <laughs> they want one. One one of them streets grew up in, in in South Jackson. We we never seen Mike Thomas. I'm trying to think of the longest. Well, you see him looking time. around. You see him looking around. I know. I know. Yeah, he did it last week. I know. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> but but Mike Mike, I've never seen long touchdown passes. I don't I don't know if Mike's got burners. Mike's just probably like just a special talent in terms of just getting open and ha- and having hands. But man, that D Hop got hands too. If y'all don't forget, if y'all don't remember the catch against Pittsburgh, I think that was Pittsburgh. If y'all remember that catch against Pittsburgh, I can't remember if it was a playoff game or regular season game. You might need to go back. Okay. That play right there, man, told me this dude. Look, I thought I I and I put this on wax. I thought that catch was better than the Odell one hand catch that put him uh-huh. on the map. You finna have a lot of these little motherfuckers coming at you on that one. Come on with it. <laughs> Hop's the best receiver in the game, man. It's it, it, it just, you know, people can argue. You can argue it any way you want to. I mean, Julio was great, but Julio had Matt Ryan for years. But that D-Hop, man, ain't, has had me, Joe, you, and Ray throw to him. And he still do numbers, man. That what he had. Joe, 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 what you got? I look when I think about the best receiver, I said, you know what? Because I think you could start to make a case with any of the big time receivers. Uh So I said, I'm gonna just sit back and I'm gonna think, okay, who's the best? Three names popped in my head. Okay, it was D Hop, Julio, and Devontae Adams. Okay, those were the three names. So then I said, okay, I tell you what. For their career, let me go look up just to see what their numbers look like, right? 
I'm gonna read Hop. Hop been in the uh, league. This is this is eighth year. Um, 119 games he has played. Uh-huh. 1,136 targets, 699 receptions, uh-huh. 9,463 yards, 13.5 yards per catch, mm-hmm. 58 touchdowns. So I then went to Julio. He's been in the league 10 years. He has played 133 games, mm-hmm. 1,308 targets, 840 receptions, 12,763 yards, 15.2 yards per catch, 60 touchdowns. Devontae Adams, seven years, 93 games, 775 targets, 492 receptions, 5,935 yards, 12.1 yards per catch, 53 touchdowns. The only thing that separates these guys is what T alluded to, the QB. Julio has, we call him Matt Ryan now, but at one point we called him Matty Ice. He's a, he's a former MVP, can't take it away from him. Devontae Adams got Aaron Rodgers. I mean, do I need to say more? You don't. I, mm-hmm. You know, I know you like that. But, just, I mean, Aaron Rodgers. We're talking about A.A. Ron. That's who we're talking about. Go, Pat, go. And Hopkins. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to name the QBs that T didn't already name. For this man to do what he's doing with those QBs, we got to say He's the best wide receiver in the game. Like, uh, if somebody tried to that, come and say no, I'm, I'm Julio, you, I'm, say, say that again. I'm about to fuck with y'all. I'm going to have y'all hot. Okay, hold on. Well, before bang, you say it. Bang, 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 nine again, going to attack me, but go ahead. All right. <clears throat> if somebody came and tried to argue with me with Julio, I, I, I'm going to put up a fight, but I, I understand where they're coming from. If, if you say Devontae is the best, but on my side, Hopkins had the truck drivers throwing to him. He had truck drivers. He had car salesmen. Uh, he had all right. janitors, but the man was still putting up numbers. It, it's, it's clear. And I hate to say that because that means my Niners got to deal with this man. I don't even remember what his contract is, but we got to deal with him for a minute. We we better go and get some cornerbacks, is what I'm telling you. Revis, come back. Dion, stop trying to coach JSU. Come back. All right. All right. (laughs) I'm just saying. D Hop, best in the game. All right. Watch this now. Y'all description pretty much mirrors what a brother from the 90s said. This brother's name is Andre Bad Moon Rising. You might know him from left eye burning his shit down. But Andre Rising said you need to know him because he is the true GOAT receiver. He said he's the GOAT because Jerry had Joe Montana and Steve Young while he had some motherfuckers that we can't remember other than that year with Brett Favre. So what what would you say to Bad Moon if he throw y'all logic right back at you? Or Julio or, 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 or the or the Julios of today or the Devontae right. of today might throw that shit at you like don't hold Aaron against me. Don't hold Matt Ryan against me. Right. Uh, uh even A B, cause A B back in the league. Y'all will yeah, yeah. we don't know how long A B fit him. Probably short. <laughs> we don't know how long AB failed to stay. We ain't realize he was damaging cameras and stuff. We ain't realize but, uh, AB might say, don't hold having Big Ben and, and Tom Brady against me. So what would you say to those guys who say, if that's the case, then y'all boy ain't the GOAT? I, I need to see Andre Rising numbers compared to Jerry. You know, Jerry numbers ignorant. You come on now. 
So this, you know, don't nobody compare to Jerry. Okay. Mason. Okay. So check this out. D Hop got fifty eight touchdowns. Right. In the league eight years. Julio sixty touchdowns in the league ten years. Devontae Adams seven years fifty three touchdowns. What I'm saying is, like he almost been a top Julio in less amount of years. Okay, so you would you would say to them, then with those quarterbacks, y'all numbers should be even more gaudy. Than now, them. now, like it shouldn't be close. And that's and to Jerry's credit, his numbers ain't close. Right. To, to nobody. Not, not even close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, and, and also what I will say is, um, I didn't put up, but if I'm not mistaken, Hopkins didn't only miss like two or three many, games, games his entire career. In his career. Yeah, I mean, and we know the best ability is availability. Trust me, Cavante stay hurt for me. That's why I'm here. Julio too. Yep. Yeah, that's true, and that's shocking though, because Julio's so big and strong that you you would think he'd be more durable. But see, my thing is Julio is not effective once they get inside the twenty, because Julio don't catch many touchdowns. Is that him or Matt? Mm, well, I don't know, because Ridley do. I think it's just the offense. I think they're just the offense. I think that's just mm. the offense. I think that's just the way they call stuff. I, I think they can't scheme inside the red zone. They, they've proven that here in the last two or three years. They can't scheme. Mm. Nux, Nux missed two games in his career. Two. Two. Excuse me. I, I gave that man a game that he <laughs> actually should have got paid for. He bad motherfucker now, and now he got this little. We said last week. I said last week that boy Kyler is incredible. He just he jump off the damn screen. He just like again. I don't know if he could have existed in the nineties or eighties. You know, you can knock a damn quarterback head off. I don't know if he could have made it through that. But now you put DeAndre Hopkins with that motherfucker. Y'all got some shit on y'all hands out there in the NFC no, West. Gonna be real. We, 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 got to get, we got to get that front four again, man. I'm glad I ain't got to deal with Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, that, that might be something to deal with. Once that once the Trump supporter come back. Right. Yeah, that boy might have some hell on his hand then. Oh, that'd be interesting to see. But shout out to the, uh, D-Hop. I'm glad that boy getting his shine on, man. Gonna, is he a, I don't know if he a 99 on man yet. Go ahead and, and get that man that 99. Him, man. Cause she, he turning up right now. He turning up on online. Uh, 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 he need that shine, man. You ain't always got to goddamn be out here on front street like some of these damn wide receivers. I ain't never heard him being no diva. He just been getting the job done. You know what I'm saying? So after a great catch like that, shout out to him for uh getting his shine on right now. Oh yeah, and man, run away from them Kardashians because they coming. The uh, no doubt. they coming. No Leave them alone. That's a hell of a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.